boom welcome back to the blood cloud channel in today's video guys i will be changing my dpf differential pressure sensor on this 2019 kenware t680 mx13 epa 17 it also can work on other um, kenworth and beatable stay tuned As you can see guys, I am currently on a load. I'm loaded and um, I'm at a Kenworth dealership in Muncie, Pennsylvania. And this is where I reached last night. I kind of limped to reach here at the dealership. And um, my DPF pressure sensor went out based on diagnosis. So this is how I knew that um, it is bad. The truck was asking for a region like driving two miles. Once you do a region, it comes off and comes back on requesting a region. How the region comes up, it just says suit level and then it just go directly to suit level high and then you will get a check engine light i can upload a picture and show you um those lights that you get so first you'll get those lights then you'll get this one and then you'll get this one so on my scan tool you will also get this code this code this code this code and also torque limited um as i said how you'll know that it's the dpf pressure sensor and not your dpf filter is as soon as you do a region and it, it's back to normal it it pops up all of those code right away so yeah, that's what I'm going to be replacing. So, in this install, this is the part number that you're going to need. I went ahead and took it off last night about 1 a.m. And um, this is what I took off. So, I'll explain how I took it off as soon as I get underneath the truck. So as you can see, that's how it was on it. Um, all it uses is two eight millimeter bolts right here. And this connector, you push this all the way up, then you squeeze right here and pull it off remove both eight millimeter bolts from here and then these to take these off you push down on this there's a tab right here you push down on it and then you yank it down and that's how you take it off so put it on just do the opposite so that's what i'm about to do right now guys it's quite easy to take off so um just don't over complicate it and whatever 
and as you realize um, I was stuck on the road but I found a dealership and yeah that's what I'm about to do to get moving again because I have a delivery for PM. So you replace the DPF pressure sensor. So that is the end of the install. All in all, um, depending on your skill level, it should take you about 30 minutes or maybe less, maybe more, um, depending if the bolts are rusted or not. So if you had found any value any information or anything from this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video so until then just keep trucking